I'm going to show you how to create a course on WP Courseware. So for starters, I'm just using the demo right now, which is actually pretty re uh, rich in features. I technically think this is only the demo for the teacher plan, but you pretty much have all functionality just on this demo alone. Um, so if you're familiar with WordPress, you're looking at this demo thinking this looks like a traditional WordPress backend and it operates as such. Um, I do find WP Courseware's their setup, like their course creation process is a lot simpler than LearnDash. Um, with LearnDash, as um, I also posted another video about LearnDash, it is easy to figure out. You just kind of have to jump through different pages, different areas of the website, and on WP Courseware, everything is very centralized. So for starters, uh, you just go down to WP Courseware. I wish WP Courseware was up here a little bit more, but that's just you know, a little, a little flaw in my book. It's really no big deal. So you just go to WP Courseware down here on the left-hand menu. You click Courses, and it is loading. So right here, you can, I already created a course. Um, you can also add a course right here. I'll just add a new one just so you can see. For some reason it is not, oh, there it is. I want to say it's not letting me add a title, but for whatever reason, my computer was just being weird. Okay, so one thing that took me a little bit to get used to is WP Courseware has different terminology than uh, LearnDash. The hierarchy is similar if you have a section and then lessons and then quizzes, but um, as you will see, the terminology is a little different. So a section in uh, WP Courseware is called a module. So you add a module and then you add a title to the module and then a description. then add module, and then uh, for whatever reason, this thing, this screen right here doesn't go away. You have to click out of it, and then you can see your module down here. And then instead of a lesson, it's called a unit. So you just, again, add the title and description for the unit. You also have a couple other options down here. You can, um, if it's if you're creating this for a new student, they can preview the union. Uh, I mean, the, the unit. Or uh, if you do want drip content, then you have the option right there. So then you go to add unit, and then again you have to click out of this. And then to actually access that unit, you have to click this arrow right here. And then there's the unit, and then from here you add a quiz. And the description. And then again, to access the quiz that is attached to the unit, you have to click this little arrow bar. Uh, so to actually add the content that is attached to the unit, the quizzes, you just click this pen right here to go back. Same thing with the quiz. If you just want to go back and update anything, for whatever reason, it is still loading. Uh, you can also add different types of media, different files. You can add audio, video, all that to make your quiz more engaging. Uh, if you want to, if you want to edit any of the settings of your quiz, all you have to do is scroll down. Um, you can, you know, like edit the visibility, you can, you know, edit like if it'll be a free or a paid course, uh, you can add any pre what any prerequisites. Um, so I do like uh, how, as I said, it is more centralized on LearnDash, you have to go to all these different 
pages and links and you know it is kind of confusing for somebody who might be new to WordPress but if you are new to WordPress uh, even though I wish WP Courseware had a cloud option but at least if you are new to WordPress you can figure out WP Courseware pretty easily.